I was on my way to Thailand at the time, so I, I didn't have a lot of time to process. You know my daughter, Golden Child, right? Yeah. We're, the, we're the Burner family. There's Jeremiah over there, there's me, Patricia Wright, and my daughter, Patricia Wright. And she and Jay have a lot of history, too. But in any case, I was on my way to Thailand, trying to process it, trying to, to remember that I'm going on vacation and going to have a good time, going to try to enjoy myself while I'm there. And it's, it's, the journey is long, so I had time to, to research, to do some research. Um, Jay started burning. He went to his first Burning Man in 2007, and so did I. We were the class of 2007. It was the, uh, the, the year that the man burned twice. So we had that in common. And when I went through his timeline, I realized that we probably met at a disoriented party uh, maybe a year or two after that. And my husband was always taking pictures of everybody. And of course, he took pictures of Jay and, and probably many of you as well. So uh, in doing the research, I went through my messages as well, and I found a message on January 3rd, 2016. Jay was also in Thailand at that time, and he said, Pat, I read that your mother died, and I just want to tell you I'm so sorry for your loss. And, and it, that really hit me hard because most people, when you put on your timeline that someone in your family has passed, Everybody will say, I'm sorry for your loss, but very few of them will go and send you a personal message. So that it hit me really hard that he did that at a time when he was also in Thailand. So I, I was spiritually connected to him in that way. And so when I went to temples with my husband, we also prayed for Jay's soul. And I believe, I'm a spiritualist, I'm a, I'm a psychic and a medium, and I believe, my belief is that your soul doesn't go away. You know, we're so big and we're so, the, our essence is so bold that it, it couldn't possibly go away. It'll come back again. We live out our karma. So whatever is happening to us now, we'll have to, if we don't get it right this time, we'll come back and we'll get it, we'll have to do it again. But in any case, in researching his timeline, I found uh, something he had posted on October 6, 2015. And he says, friend of mine asked me, and this is, Jay wrote the way he spoke, and I loved it because, you know, if I had to say what he said in his language, and his, English was his second language, but if I had to say it in the language that he was familiar with, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it in Spanish. I couldn't do it in French. But I understood his passion always because because he would post things and he he he'd have a lot of passion about what he was saying, and you knew that he meant it. And he was smart. He was a very bright person. And in any case, on October 6, 2015, he said, "Friend of mine asked me." What is it that makes a difference for you in life? For a second, I struggled to, proper, to find proper words that would fully describe an answer, but it brought me to the thought. What a huge amount of gratitude and respect I have for those who honor agreements, who are loyal, stand for obedience of core values we establish and care for, what makes us better human beings, rational, kind, genuine and fair, tolerant to one another. I have heart full of love and support for mind, souls, and I couldn't under quite understand this part. You'll have to decipher it for yourself. But I have heart full of love and support for mind, souls up there who share my view, no matter who you are. Those are Jay's words. I love you all, and I want you to know that I want you to become very old burners. <laughs> so stay with me. We have to become our own support group now because I, for one, if Jay had said, I'm in trouble, I'm, I'm, I'm having problems, I would have dropped everything 
and gone to him to not be here tonight. So if we all promise each other, we have to find some way to always be here for each other. We're burners, we're whoever we are to him, his family. We need to take care of each other. I love you all. Call me, tell me, if you have any problems, call me. I love you. I love Jim.